Hi, for this video, what I want to do is talk to you about some characteristics of designing a statistical study. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to identify the variable of interest or your focus of your study and who you are going to be studying. So the population of the study. So this could vary greatly depending upon your field of study. So if you're a marine biologist, your field of study might be, okay, what are the impacts of plastics in the ocean? And so that might be your variable of interest or your focus of your um, study. It might be something if you're an entomologist, you may want to know what are the habits of hissing cockroaches. And so that's what you're going to study. If you are in pharmaceutical design, your variable of interest would be humans and how well your new medicine that you're developing works for um, whatever virus or whatever pain management that you're trying to help with. So the variable of interest can change drastically depending upon what you're studying and what fields you are going into. So this could be um, used in a business setting. They might be looking at how is a new product going to be do um, received by their customers, etc. The second thing that you want to do is develop a detailed plan for collecting your data. If you are using a sample, you do have to make sure that the sample is representative of the population. It's very, very important that if you are going to make inferences about the larger population, your sample does have to be representative. Okay, um, this could be something you might be doing a survey where you're just polling people and you're asking them how they're going to vote in the next election. It might be something where you want to do an experiment to see if this pain medicine works better than an, one that's already on the market. Okay, it could be that there's a new virus that you're trying to come up with a medicine for, and so you're trying to do um, controlled studies to see if the medicine actually works or not. Okay. Your third step is going to be collecting the data. So once you have decided who you are going to be studying or what you are going to be studying, then you're going to collect the data. So this could be something, again, where you're asking questions and you're recording people's responses. Or you could actually be experimenting with things. You could be um, looking at the impacts of a new fertilizer on how well it helps the grass grow. There's a lot of different ways of collecting the data. There's a lot of different things that can be observed. Okay, and then you're going to describe the data using descriptive statistics techniques. So this could be something like looking at the measures of center. What is the mean or the average? Um, what is the median of the data set? What is the mode? What occurred the most often? It could be that you're looking at proportions and you're seeing what is the proportion that voted for a certain characteristics or voted for a candidate, something like that. Next step is you're going to interpret your data. This is where you're going to tell the story of what you found out from your research. Okay, and if you are trying to use a sample to make an inference about a population, then you could use things like hypothesis testing, or you could be doing things like confidence intervals that help you to make a decision about the overall population. And then the last step is you always want to look at any possible errors because you know that if you made mistakes, other people are going to be pointing those out. So it's really, really important that you identify any possible errors. A lot of times you will have to repeat the studies enough times to make sure that it really wasn't just a fluke, um, that it wasn't what is known statistically as a bad sample. It was something that really didn't just occur by chance alone. So when you are designing a statistical study, these are the things that you're going to be looking at. Decide what you are going to be studying or who you are going to be studying. Come up with a detailed plan. Make sure that everybody understands how you're going to collect the data. Make sure that your sample is representative. Super important. Collect your data. Then Describe what you found and interpret your data and make decisions about the population and identify any possible errors. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics you would like for me to cover, please let me know that as well.